Hello everyone and welcome to my fairy tale-a-thon recommendations video. So if you don't know, if you missed my announcement video, I am one of the five co-hosts of a readathon that will be running from the 13th until the 20th of August called Fairy Tale-a-thon and I will leave a link to that announcement video in the description down below so give that a watch if you are interested in all of the finer details of the readathon. Um, I mention who the other co-hosts are, I talk about what the challenges are, what the giveaways are and just talk about all of the lovely magical fairy tale loveliness we will have going on during the week of the readathon so give that a watch if you are interested in joining us so for this video I'm going to be recommending you some of my favorite fairy tales and some of my favorite fairy tale retellings and hopefully you will want to pick some of them up during the week of fairy tale a thon so the first one I'm going to mention to you is a series of fairy tale retellings which I'm sure if you're involved in booktube at all you will definitely have heard of this series and that is of course the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. So I'm actually hoping to continue with this series during the week of Fairy tale -a -thon. I've read the first two books, this one Cinder and the second one Scarlet. Um, so hopefully I will be picking up the third book which is Cress during Fairy tale -a -thon. If you don't know, these are YA sci-fi fairy tale retellings. This one is of course a retelling of Cinderella. The second one Scarlet is a retelling of Red Riding Hood. The third one Cress which I'm hoping to pick up is a retelling of Rapunzel and the fourth one Winter is a retelling of Snow White and I have really really loved this series. I read the first two quite a long time ago now but I do still remember a lot of the details which I'm really really impressed by. I must have really really loved it so um yeah, super excited about picking up Crest during Fairy tale -a So if you haven't read them, I thoroughly recommend them. They are really, really quirky, really, really funny, and really, really unique, and just really, really exciting. So yeah, definitely give Lunar Chronicles a go if you haven't read them. The next one I'm going to mention is a little bit of a Marmite series, shall we say, and that is the Court series by Sarah J Maas. So this first book, A Court of Thorns and Roses, has... A lot of problematic elements to it. When I first read it I absolutely loved it and then I saw a lot of other people reviewing it and they pointed out the problems and I was like how the hell did I not see that? But the second book A Court of Mist and Fury is definitely my favourite of the whole trilogy absolutely love that book um, and I'm still very very attached to Reese from this series very very attached he's one of my favorite book boyfriends but one of the challenges of fairy tale -a -thon is to read a book with fae in it or a book set in a fae world and um, this is definitely my favorite series that features fae um, yes it does have its problems definitely and if you are sensitive to graphic scenes of sex in books I definitely wouldn't recommend them but but um, they are really, really fun for what they are. So if you haven't read the Court series, I really think that Fairy Tale Thorn would be a great chance to finally pick them up. The next one I'm going to recommend to you is Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly and this is a kind of spin-off of Beauty and the Beast. Um, this follows Belle as um, she becomes obsessed with the Beast's library as I think we all would if we were living in that environment and um, basically she finds a book and she gets sucked into the world of this book and lots of dodgy dangerous things happen and it's all about um, her friends obviously in the household trying to rescue her from this book and it is really really cute really really quick read so I think it's perfect for a readathon um, and obviously perfect for Beauty and the Beast fans and it's just really really cute definitely a book for book lovers so definitely pick it up and yeah enjoy it for what it is so yeah the next one I'm going to recommend to you is a anthology of classic fairy tales because I think this is a perfect opportunity to finally read the original versions of these fairy tales because they are super dark and super super creepy and obviously Disney has made them all lovely and fluffy and the wonderful magical stories that we know but I personally am really really into my dark stories as you know so I have this pretty simple but really really gorgeous edition of Grimm's fairy tales so hopefully I'm going to be dipping into this at some point during a fairy tale a and enjoying the original dark weird stories that they um, started from so um, yeah definitely get yourself a collection of original fairy tales for fairy tale a -thon. 
The next one I want to recommend to you is Ash by Melinda Lowe and this is a um, bisexual retelling of Cinderella and it's super super interesting it's a completely unique take on the original story of Cinderella um, and it is absolutely perfect for your LGBT fix for fairy tale -thon. it's badass it's awesome it's it's so good, it really, really is. I've never ever read such an in depth, intense, beautiful LGBT fairy tale as Ash is. I really, really recommend it if it sounds like your kind of thing. The next one I want to recommend is another retelling of Cinderella. There seems to be a lot of Cinderella retellings out there, but this one is super cute, and that is Geekerella by Ashley Poston. So I read this last year. It was a pretty big book last year, but this is a little nerdy retelling of Geekerella. It's fresh, it's modern, it is set in a Comic-Con. It is just really cute. It's not a literal retelling of Cinderella, but there are definitely elements of Cinderella in it and once you notice them and pick them up it's just so fun to recognize them it's super cute it, wholly really it is a YA contemporary romance with some very very subtle Cinderella similarities in it but um, yeah definitely pick it up if you haven't read it it is absolutely adorable the next one that I want to recommend is a retelling of a Russian folktale and that is Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. So I read this a couple of years ago. It is very, very weird and I could not possibly give you a coherent summary of the plot. Um, I think anything that I've read that's a little bit similar to it is Alice in Wonderland. It does have that kind of quirky nonsensical theme and style to it so if you like the original Alice in Wonderland story you will probably like it I am a massive Alice fan so that is why I really liked it but if you like your books to make sense and you like your characters to do things that you would expect them to do I probably wouldn't recommend this but it is just really really weird it will take you on a crazy crazy journey so if it sounds like your kind of thing definitely give this one a go and the last one that I want to mention to you is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. And this came out at the very start of this year and I really, really loved it. This is about a girl whose grandmother is the author of a book of dark fairy tales and when her grandmother dies, um, she is visited by a man who claims to have kidnapped her mother and she has to go on this journey into this world that her grandmother seemingly created in order to find and rescue her mother. It's really, really strange. Um, she has a friend with her who is a massive super fan of her grand's work. And again, it's just a really, really quirky YA romance with some fantasy elements thrown in there. Pretty dark as well. So um, yeah, give this a go if it sounds like your kind of thing. And that is it for my fairy tale a thon recommendations. Do you think you will pick up any of them? Please let me know if you do. I will leave links to all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.